Tyler, it's good to see you again. Good to see you, Dave. Uh, this is, uh, is it safe to say this is kind of a different Tyler Perry kind of movie? Because I, I want to tell you, yeah. like somewhere in there I expected Medea to be the other woman. No, but, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no this, this is very different. After doing Gone Girl, I wanted to do something more serious, more of a thriller, and uh, this is what I came up with. You've uh, been working on this for quite some time, I've heard, in other interviews. How long have you been working on this? I don't, I, it, it, after I shot Gone Girl, I wanted to do this. So I, I wouldn't say I worked on it for a long time, but just when I've, I've had the idea for a long time and then doing Gone Girl and then sitting down and, and, and uh, starting to write it, you know, from the time I wrote it to the time we shot it, it wasn't that long at all. What inspired? I hope it wasn't a relationship gone bad. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm the counselor to a lot of my friends. I'm always fascinated how two people can be in a relationship and see things very differently and they're living in the same house under the same roof, but they see things very differently. So that's what was the, that was the nucleus of this. Mental illness is one of the themes. There's a couple of themes in this, but mm -hmm. mental illness is in is one of the themes. I'm curious what your thoughts are, people that will see this film that either have gone through a relationship, good for them, they've gotten through it, but maybe that are dealing with it right now. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to get Oprah or Dr. Phil right now, but you know, what what is, people are going to see this, they're going to go, hey, I'm kind of dealing with that. Yeah, well, that's the hope. That's absolutely the hope that when people see it, they go, is that me I'm, uh, or is this this person? Is this something that we should look into? Because this woman, she, she sees it her own way. And it's not that she's lying to herself. She just believes it. She absolutely believes it. And and I didn't even know that this, this borderline personality disorder existed. I didn't know what it was, but once I realized what it was and, and it's born out of a lot of trauma, I thought, well, maybe that's Melinda's issue, even though we don't go into it fully in the film. Taraji's so good in this yeah. role. Lyric is, uh, he's an up-and-comer. Yeah, for sure. Really for like sure. him, but I'm curious, your casting, what drew you to these, uh, Lyric and, and uh, Taraji? Well, Taraji was a no-brainer. Just I've worked with her on several things before, and she's always been uh, incredible to work with and always been a lot of fun. So to have her and um, the, then trying to find the match for her, and once I found Lyric, I was like, yeah, man, he, I, anytime I get to break new talent, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm excited about Definitely it. Definitely going to see him again and some other things. Yeah. Uh, final question for you today, sir. Is this a date movie? Do you take somebody, maybe you want to warn them, like, you better not do this to me. You know what I'm saying? It's or? absolutely a date movie because because it starts off one way, but it ends another. So you, you can really stand in the middle of this and have a great after date, dis, after movie discussion about it. I love it. Always yeah. great talking with you. Congratulations. And I can't wait for the next time. Thank you. Tell your mama said hi. I will, Tyler. Thanks okay. for saying that, Don't man. Sure.